Hello Internet, it's Secretplot45, and man, it feels good to be back. Um, I have my blue snowball now, so the mic quality should be a lot better. Uh, we're bringing the normal comms back, just the normal commentary. Uh, I don't know what gameplay I'm going to have in the background, I'll just throw something in. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about specifically, but um, today's what I what I wanted to talk about, and I've wanted to talk about this for a while now, is um, setting up on uh, normal comms. For those of you who are new, and you don't really know what setting up is. Setting up is essentially going for trick shots on a person who's standing still and not trying to kill you. So, like, normally when you trick shot, you kill everyone, you get to last, which is when there's one person left in search and destroy, and then you go to trick shot on them, but meanwhile they're still trying to kill you and, like, win the round. And that's been traditionally how it's been done in most Call of Duties, except for Modern Warfare 2, uh, at least when I started a... Uh, when I started trick shotting, which was about, I think, two years ago at this point, um, Modern Warfare 2 uh, setup has been accepted. So, um, recently, there's been a new team called Valiant. Uh, Valiant Company, they're an insane team, I recommend checking them out. But that's, like, their thing is kind of like setting up. If you look at their team Tajes, and um, they're, not, they're not hiding this, by the way, they're very open about setting up, but that's, like, their, their thing as they set up. Like, almost all their clips are set up, just like Modern Warfare 2. Um, but their shots and their standards are insane. Like, they're, they're really good shots that they're going for. Their team dodges are very enjoyable, and they have, like, insane standards. And they're a really cool team. Uh, they have some pretty cool members. I really want to get into Valiant. One of my friends just joined. Uh, Risky, shout out to him. But, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a whole other topic. But a lot of teams are starting to do this, like Nexus, and even bigger teams like Dare and Synergy are starting to set up on other Call of Duties now. Um, and it's starting to become like the new thing, however, there's also been like a lot of drama with fake clips, and uh, a lot of people kind of get them confused, um, faking a clip is like when you don't, like when you set up, you actually hit the trick shot, it's just the people aren't trying to kill you, when you fake the clips, you just go for the shots in like private match or whatever, and then someone like uses like Photoshop and After Effects to make it look like you actually like hit the shot and stuff. And I'm not really cool with that. I honestly I do not mind watching setup clips. Um, I I kind of almost not necessarily prefer setup clips, but like setup clips, the standards tend to be a lot higher. And you know you can focus on like the actual skill of the trick shot and not have to worry about like someone, you know, like getting on your back. And I play with Val a lot. Uh, not a lot, but I can play with a decent amount, and uh, I'll go for setup shots with them. And it's a lot more fun, honestly. It's just, it's not as stressful. Um, it's you don't have to worry about like getting the last. You can just kind of trick shot and have fun with friends, which is why I started doing this in the first place. So I think it's kind of a good thing that they do that because they're raising the standards of the community. They're finding new ways to hit shots and new shots, and at the same time, they're bringing like kind of the fun back to the community. If you look at like their Twitter and stuff, and um, their leader suites, they're all really like kind of relaxed and chill and uh, they're you know they're not really taking anything serious and I appreciate that in the community but um, there's been a lot of uh, a kind of a contrast recently because if you guys haven't known uh, FaZe is doing ill cams 50 back on Modern Warfare 2 and like I said earlier Modern Warfare 2 has been set up for pretty much all teams even like the next biggest team which is Soar um, sets up on Modern Warfare 2 that's kind of like an accepted thing but FaZe does not use setup clips at all, and because of that, um, in the early days, I'm not really sure how it's, it's going to turn out, but the Ilcam 50 standards are a lot lower than regular um, uh, Modern Warfare 2 app standards, and um, I, don't, I don't know if they're getting better, but if you look at shots that like people are hitting for Modern Warfare 2, I mean, like they're not bad shots, but like if you look at a, a regular Modern Warfare 2 app from like pretty much any team, especially like a bigger team, um, their standards are a lot higher because they're more they're more adept at the game, they've been practicing for a while, and um, I honestly, that's kind of why I, I almost prefer setting up, you know, like, in the end, when you're watching the Team Taj, you know, it, it all kind of comes to the same thing, whether the guy goes to the spot when he's not setting up, or he goes to the spot and he is setting up, I mean, the clip is still the same in my eyes, you know, I don't really, I don't really see it as that big of a deal. But um, a lot of people feel the uh, feel differently, and uh, I I do kind of think it's silly that people are fine with setting up on Modern Warfare 2, but when it comes to like Black Ops 2 or whatever, they're like, oh no, we can't have that, you know. Um, I I just think it's a little bit weird, but um, you know what? 
Uh, that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it, what your opinions on setting up are. Should should set up clips be used in team tages? Do you enjoy watching teams like Valiant or not because the clips are set up? Uh, I'm curious, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments. This has been Secret. Hope you're enjoying me being back to uploading, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.